I was 24 days captured by Taliban. I was six times robbed. I was eight times beaten. I left my home 27th of May 2004 from a remote village of India with a mission. My mission is around the world on bicycle tour for HIV AIDS awareness. 24 countries I travel in. Asia and then continue to Europe 42 countries it took me till North Pole of the world and back to Africa to Middle East I had such kind of experience to stay with wild animal in wildlife When I was in Bangladesh, I met uh, a guy who has income quarter of dollar, but I met the one of the happiest being in this world. So in this world, I think uh, happiness is inside of us and we need to share that happiness with others. This will be 16 years journey, 191 countries. I'm going to reach uh, 20 million people in this world. And in this 20 million people, I think they are becoming a part of my family. And this uh, family member who I am meeting in this world, for them, I would like to build a, create a global village, which I would like to build to my hometown and would like to all over the world to come to stay there. Welcome to American Pulse. Uh, tonight we have a, a very uh, unique and special uh, episode. Uh, something to talk about plans, will community service help out, a goal, target, uh, a lot of things uh, we can talk about uh, in this episode. I am honored and very happy to have a man on the show today that he had um, decided to uh, do something a little crazy, I think, and uh, uh, he decided back in 2004 uh, to ride a bike for 16 years in a campaign called Biking Odyssey from 2004 to 2020. Um, I really think it's very interesting and I would like for you to get to know this person. I'm happy to have uh, Mr. Solman Dibnath. Uh, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Morgan, for uh, giving me this opportunity and uh, introducing me with people. Uh, it's a really great to um, to see you, and it is a great honor to be with you and your team. Thank you. And uh, this is uh, USA, and uh, we are both um, sitting here. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, so, man, it's, uh, it, you know, when I learned about you, I was, like, astonished in the first place. I'm like... What a great idea, what a great goal, what a great way of doing it. I, I think I have a lot of questions for you, so I hope you can answer uh, uh -huh. to the best of your knowledge and the best of your ability. But first, let's talk about who you are, who are you, where were you born and all that, because I'd like you know, my viewers to get to know you. So I would like for you to introduce yourself to my viewers, so who you are oh, yeah. and where you were you born and all that. Uh, my name is Soman Debnath and uh, I born and raised in Sundarban, which is 80 kilometers far from Kolkata. 
and Sundarban is a well known. It's in India. It is in India. Yeah. Uh, it is well known. Uh, it is a mangrove forest. And Mango. Uh, man I like mangrove. Mangrove. Okay. Mangrove forest, and it is the largest tiger, Bengal tiger reserve forest uh -huh. in India. Wow. And uh, and where you know did you how did you uh, how were you raised up? You had siblings, brothers, sister, family, small family, big family. Yeah, I born how and raised uh, with a joint family where uncle, aunt, all of accompanied by grandfather, grandmother also alive. So it is uh, almost fourteen members in my family. So we are fourteen all, members. Yeah. That's a lot of so people. we are all together lived uh, in a home and we raised. And it is uh, really nice to see different dimension of love love um, different side of love which i received and it's amazing that at uh, 20 years of my life uh, which uh, huge love i i received from my family i thought that why not that i will go with it to my global family so i consider i'm a global family member uh, i'm a global citizen and i have global family member in all over the world and that's uh, that's why i thought this journey uh, can take me to reach to people, those people who are also part of my family. So tell me, how did you think of this and, you know, how did it come about and how did you make that decision? This is a big decision to make, to, to, uh, uh, to, to take away 16, 16 years out of your life and dedicate it to your goal. This is a big, big, big decision to make. So tell me, how did it start? Like, were you... In school, where you finished school, how how did it come about? Uh, actually, when I was uh, doing my school, then when I was fourteen, I read in newspaper uh, there was uh, one person who was died, and uh, and uh, there was a quotations in the newspaper: AIDS deadlier than cancer. So AIDS is deadlier than, than cancer. cancer. So so that the message which uh, came to my mind, I wanted to know about HIV AIDS. Mm -hmm. because I knew that cancer is the most very difficult yeah. disease in the world. What is AIDS? That was my first question. This is the first time we heard of HIV and AIDS? Yeah. We never heard of that before? No, I Not didn't. even in school, nothing? Yes, exactly. Okay, so, there's, that, so that was the first That was the first time you got introduced to the HIV? And, yes. Okay. So then I wanted to know about HIV AIDS, but nobody taught me. So I promised myself that when I will know about HIV AIDS, I would like to teach whoever, unaver in this world, whoever, unaver in my society. So then I started from my school, to my village, to my society, then my community, then my state, then my country. And then How did I you came do out. it? How did you do it? Like, did you gather the people and yeah, talk, before, teach them? Tell me, how, how, how did you raise that awareness? Because the first I was starting to, uh, started to visit different schools, uh, universities, or different villages where I go and I re, uh, I gather all people together and then it's came I came to uh, speak to them and try to uh, question answer what kind of problems what kind of difficulties they have so that is the way how I started my awareness uh, program okay so that's how it came and it's continue uh, to all India so it didn't. I didn't decided that I'm going to travel all India, but it's uh, it's came uh, first my uh, three inspirations behind of this journey. One is when I was read that article that okay. AIDS so deadlier than cancer. So the first thing was mm. the article. The, mm. This this was the point breaker for you. Yeah, and second was like a one great philosopher of India. His name is Swami Vivekananda. So he uh, he. He wrote a book. Uh, his book was Amar Bharat, Amar Bharat. That is means uh, my India is a great India. So where I, uh, I read his book and I found that what is the substance, he taught that if you wanted to search the world, if you wanted to uh, try to find the world, why you not to search in India first? And when you will visit the world, then you will find each and every corner one India. So he wanted to explain about that diversity and the sentiment and philosophy, which is uh, India uh, uh, overall could teach to the world and you will find those similarities 
in whole world uh, and also that sentiment. And that's really, I was fascinated that I wanted to see India and wanted to go to visit the world to find that identity, that find that similarities, that, that, that thoughts, which I, I, I can learn from India. Yeah. And that is the second my motivations behind of this journey. And third was uh, the Bimal Mukherjee. He's the first Indian globetrotter on bicycle who traveled 1926 to 1937. So this 1926 to 1937, 11 years when he traveled and he wrote his book, Du Chakai Dunia. That is means two wheel into the world. What is it? Two wheel into the world. Two wheel? Two wheel into the world okay. means it is a two wheel okay riding okay into two the wheel world. into the world mm -hmm. yeah. so when i read that book i was really fascinated and i was thinking that oh it is such a lovely things that when you can see so much and you could write uh, and you could explain to people yeah. so that is the three message three in, uh, three inspiration behind of this journey which brought me maybe here but when I have started, I didn't know that I'm going to travel till end of 2020. I first started and first told to my parents that I will go for northeast of India, northeast of India for three months. But when I covered northeast of India, with, the, with northeast of India, I travel also other eight, eight countries. So then I finished my other part of the travel in India and then officially I left after two and a half years uh, because 27th of May 2004 I have started this journey. Tw May 27, 2004. Uh, 2004 I, I started this journey and then after two, two and a half years travel I came to others part of the world officially. First travel was started through Asia so 24 countries I travel in Asia. So in Asia, you did 20, 2006 to 2009, right? Yes. 23 countries you did? Yes. And in 2004 to 2006, you did 28 states and five union territories of yes, India. Yes, exactly. And then 2009 to 2012, you did Europe and Greenland. Tell me, you travel between these countries on the bike? Yes, I, uh, I travel uh, all the countries where it has land-to-land -land border. I travel on bike, but if there has no land, then I first uh, first uh, try to find a ship to connect more closest land to land border connection. Okay. If there is no land, then I take a flight to connect uh, the land next land. So that this is, is the amazing. Way, so that is the way I plan my trip. 191 countries, total 28 times I need to take ship and 32 times by flight. So total 60 times I need ship or flight to connect the whole world. Did you did you plan the trip before you started? Like at 2004, did you know that no, you were I, gonna- No, 2004 I didn't, I didn't so know So you thought that. there was only three months in uh, North- uh, in When I have North started, East. when I have started, I was thinking that it will be three months Northeast of India. And that would be it. That then I was thinking that, you know, it is a lot of, a uh, lot of things you need to travel. Uh, even if you wanted to tell to Indian people that you are traveling in India, then they will tell, oh, you are talking too much. Why? Because they don't believe that one person can travel whole India. Because it is so huge, and it is not only huge, it is a, a really a question for others that, uh, that how you do that. Mm. So one side you need uh, monetary support, you need others equipment support, uh, if you have bicycle problem or others problem, whatever. So how you, you can overcome that kind of situation. So people believe it is a big things. Yes. Tell me about your trip to Africa. Wow, that's uh, Africa trip was started from December 2012. Okay. Uh, I entered uh, uh, Morocco, so it was a one hour ferry from Tanzir to Tanzir, like south of Spain to Morocco. Okay. Then I uh, stayed almost one month in Morocco, and Morocco too, I got the visa for Algeria, Tunisia, so uh, and Egypt. 
So well, you went to Egypt. Yeah, that's how it came to. I came to Egypt. Uh, up, Egypt was my third country. La Morocco, Algeria, Amazing. Tunisia. Um, Did you like Egypt? Mm -hmm. Tunisia too. I have to take a flight to come to Egypt because that time it was a very big problem with Libya. Of Libya. So yeah. I couldn't contact uh, my embassy, and my embassy suggested me, please, you should not come to Egypt, a uh, Libya, because you know. it's a big problem. So I have to take a flight. To I want to talk. I want to talk more about Egypt when we come back from this break. Uh, uh, dear viewers, please, uh, we'll see you after the break. Welcome back to American Pulse and uh, back to Somin in Egypt. So tell me, how was Egypt like? Yeah, actually, in that time, it was a really a big deal about Egypt because the revolution. There's the revolutions, and my embassy was very scared. So when I wrote to them, they told, oh, you could come, but now it's a very bad, um, bad problem and yeah. very big problem. Then they I told that, don't worry, I will find a better place. Uh, so I really uh, still can remember I was staying in Dahab Hostel in the middle of Tahiri Tah Tah Square. Oh, wow. Uh, so I, I came and I really loved that place because oh. it is a very beautiful yes. uh, fifth floor open sky and you know a really nice uh, a little garden in the yeah. top of the so i i really somehow fall in love with that place and you know the square has its own yeah. uh, and and then i was used to move with my bicycle i have still some photographs in Tahrir Square, I was moving and I was talking with revolutionaries and they, they thought that I'm from India and you know, like always India is participate somehow. Yeah. But I told that Egyptians please, like uh -huh. India because of yeah. the movies where they watch the, yeah. all the movies, the Indian movies and stuff. You're, you're right. And it was really so nice that I was very easy, spontaneous way uh, was means I was interacting with, with people and people are, I think within within uh, 10 or 12 days, I think seven dead bodies was passed from there. Oh so actually it was really very, very tough time. But I, I really appreciate I didn't have anything, any problem. I was uh, really quite blessed. And uh, I still um, can remember I was visited uh, Mr. and Mrs. Acha uh, and uh, she invited me to her uh, school. She was director of the school, a uh, new Horizon school. And uh, really it was uh, such a wonderful welcome by all students. And I still Thank remembering and uh, some of them are also still in contact. And last, um, mm, last uh, I think uh, last week I was talking to director and uh, I was so happy that uh, she wrote a new book and uh, I was uh, I was uh, wondering that if I can read and you know like so I still uh, 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 it is a great things for me and uh, as great I memories can, of Egypt great yeah. memory and it is so coincident that uh, I um, I met in that school uh, my one friend Lydia and I still I was not remembering that how she will be uh, but uh, I already met her in, in uh, New Jersey yeah. and New York. And I was really very happy to to meet her uh, after uh, after a long time. How many, you know? So many like, years, right? It's so many years and so many things happened, and it's really so surprised. Uh, I'm so surprised that still uh, it is uh, people are still remembering. And sure, it's I mean, what you're doing is completely uh, unique and different. Uh, tell me, did you travel anywhere in Egypt or Dubai? Oh yes, it was. Uh, I I I went to um, first of all uh, all the way to up to uh, Alexandria. Did you go to Alexandria? Yeah. So from Cairo, you go Cairo you to know. Alexandria, and Alexandria on between Alexandria, uh, there is another one place I'm forgetting. There's uh, Indians, lot of families. They invited me, uh. and uh, then I came from Alexandria to. I went to all the way to Dahab. Uh, okay, so you went to the Shan, yeah, Shan, 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 Shan Sheikh, yeah. and also some of part of white and black scent. Uh, oh, it's beautiful. Uh, yeah. It's very beautiful. It's gorgeous, isn't and it? And it's still um, in my eyes, and you know, also it, in, it's something that can never find yeah, anywhere and, in the world, right? And it's it's different world. 
mm. you know it's totally different world either it's in moon or maybe in 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 some other planet <laughs> so and also some of part i visited also in all Egypt the way so to up to aswan yeah mm. so you took the bike all the way to aswan yes yes it was a really amazing time so how I do you do it like you you keep on riding the bike and you stop at the hotel you sleep and yeah, you go when i'm on the road work? when i'm road i just to maybe sometimes stay in my tent i'm okay. camping also so i stay I so when you're tired camp. you just stop hmm. i you stop i camping. sleep anywhere yeah i put my tent and if you're not I, scared of anything i don't i don't usually because i feel that everyone's is important in this world and it is when i'm stopping uh, in a place then i always meet villagers local yeah. people they appreciating they come and, and ask you questions they come and ask questions and they they have a lot of questions because they usually don't see such way uh, and probably in traveling. egypt people were like inviting you for mm. food they oh, everybody this, brought still, you still a... still it was really amazing to always unknown people are offering their food yes. they're taking me their home yeah, that's and how they love indian are. bollywood and indian cinema yes. so it is always it is dubbing in 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 their own language your egyptian language yes. so they love it and you know they always uh, uh, like and appreciate indian people they have a, different sentiment about india which is really fascinated me and mm -hmm. i i really it is it was from my childhood dream that i wanted to come to egypt and when i visited i was really so so uh, uh fulfilled my dream that oh this it's should be one big item in your list who got checked out yeah i'd say not only checked out it is always in my mind Amazing. and if i will have You see, Again, I can even change. I even see the smile on your face when you're talking yeah. about it. Uh, like I even I I'm, I'm believing that if I will have another one opportunity I love to come to Egypt because I I felt that my own reflections. So I felt that India and Egypt is so beautiful uh similar culture same reflections State and same state of mind thing. and yeah. same thinking right? Yeah. So tell me what 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 did you like the most about Egypt uh, is it like more of the pyramids the temples yeah, I, or I, the I visited a lot of a lot of pyramid temples a lot of cultural uh, places and uh, I but what is my uh, my interest about people so I really what really fascinated in Egypt Egyptian people yeah. they are such a humble and positive and uh, and funny and <laughs> funny and uh, they always uh, a little bit sarcastic yes. and positive way to represent yeah. uh, themselves even even if they're could, upset they make yeah, fun of themselves which, which you could keep remember yeah that is amazing which <laughs> is, is i appreciate it it's very nice so tell me what's the if during your trips uh, in many places of the world what is the most difficult situation i read once on telegram Uh, that yes. you were uh, captured by Taliban, right? Yes, I That's was. Scary. It That's, was quite that... scary, and uh, I, I. So where really... were you in uh, Afghanistan or something? Yeah, I was traveling from Kabul to Herat, and 146 kilometers after I was caught by them, and they were first starting, uh, start to beat from their gun point, and also g back up the gun. and it was hurting me and my tears were running down my cheeks and i was really you know, quite you thought you were killed right i i thought that they will kill me yeah. so but they did did you know that these were terrorists did you know right I away i didn't know that i you didn't did, know did i did you think they were police or what did you think uh, no i thought that they are not they are not maybe uh, the ordinary people because ordinary people don't will come directly and start to beat you yeah. so <laughs> they, i was thinking that i was they, uh, they beat you so i was really it was hurting me and i was really confused i couldn't speak at all so then did they I, understand english or no no actually they were speaking urdu and farsi and two person were quarreling each other one was telling shoot him one was telling wait wait uh, how did you know inform. they told you this because like... i was looking their oh, attitude and their motion the body, you know, language. Like body language and so then you I, saw you, you saw somebody is telling him the yeah, guy killed yeah 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 and and shoot him just yes, get yes, it yes 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 actually there's just to i saw their body language i just wondering to stop them and i was telling please 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 wait 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 don't uh, don't shoot don't yet. shoot me yeah then i try to explain them that if i am a bad person you can kill me later but take me with you so that's how how it came so you started and, uh, negotiating <laughs> no it's not negotiating it was just a, you know if 
the God given this life, we should we should respect it. Yes. And that is the way of I believe, how I was. I believe doing. that nobody has the authority to take anybody's life. Yeah, it is. It is. I believe so. But yes. you know, when I'm coming, when it comes to terrorism, they uh, do whatever. But when I'm coming to a country, when I'm visiting a country, how I can complain about the country, because those people didn't came to my country to kill me. So, but I try to appreciate because I came to a country. Yeah, I should be polite and try to explain what is my missions of the yeah, country. Yeah, well, Taliban, you gotta be very polite. <laughs> but, but it was really quite hard to explain them. But okay. Later on, I was blindfolded. They took me a long drive, and after uh, after almost uh, an hour, uh, I found myself inside in a in an underground where four days I was trapped in a chair and continuously was beaten. Oh my and God! It's like a dungeon. Four, uh, then four days after, I found a translator who was speaking in fluent British English. So it was really try to explain him that what is the reason of my travel and. So I told him that. Did you think? Did you think that they thought that you're coming to spy on them or something? Yeah, or, I, I think so. Think? I think so. But I try to explain that persons that listen. If I'm, I don't have a single needle. How I can be spy or 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 I, I. I'm I not came coming to, to hurt you. Yeah, uh, yeah, hurt you. So I try to explain them that listen. I I have an individual mission. I respect my mission. I respect all over the world any single individual mission. So if you don't want, if you don't kill me. Then I can somehow to contribute to you. If I cannot continue my mission, let me contribute to your mission. And that's how I came to. What do you mean? How do you? How would you contribute to the Taliban that, mission? Kill so, other people. So that's I. What I did. Yeah. I was nine days there cleaner, and I was washing their clothes, cleaning their house, and even cleaning their utensils. And I was nine days there cleaner. And one day I tried to explain them that please, would you mind to let me to cook for you? So then. They let me one day. I I I made them lunch, lunch, they were, and they, they really liked it. That you, they weren't scared that you poisoned them. Or no, no, no. Actually, there some people also were there. So okay, they so saw you they what you're saw, doing uh, and everything. So I cooked one day lunch, and they really liked it. So last 11 days, I was their cook. So I was cooking for them. Okay, and then how did it come about that they released you? So after uh, 20, or after 23 days, I think they told me 23 or 22 days after they told me that we will leave, let you go, but what will tell to the rest of the world? Then I told that, please, if you want to let me go, I would like to be thankful to you because I don't have any other's word. So I and I wish I wish to say only the truth, whatever happened to me, and thank you that the, you are giving my life. Which I can continue my mission. So, so did they learn what uh, you're doing? And yeah, I they, explained they everything. Did they capture you with the bike, or you didn't? Everything they took me with. They took with, and uh, then when they let, let you go, they, they let you go with uh, everything. I was again blindfolded, and they dropped me 16 kilometers before Herat. Yeah, well. So it was really quite. Would painful. you be able to recognize the same place where you're in if you go back, or no? No, I don't think so. Yeah, and you don't think you want to ever go back again. I, I, I don't know because it's very uh, difficult. Actually, you had, uh, maybe you, if I will. How have, many times did you feel like you're gonna be killed? Like how many times? Is it I like think, every day or? No, I think a, a, during that time. Yeah, yeah, during oh, that time. Oh, I think you know it is. Of course, everything uh, can be happen anytime. Yeah. So, so those 23 mm. days were like you're on your toes the whole time. You're yeah, very I was just it was really totally puzzled in the brain, and sometimes you cannot, you don't know what is happening. So even. Every single minute is something ha happening in your mind, and but I try to calm my mind and try to control my mind and try to say whatever is coming. Let's see. Did you face any other danger similar to the yes, Taliban? Yes, yes. I I think uh, when else? I was traveling in Central Asia, like Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, I was going through passing through the tunnel and both sides maybe 10 meter, 15 meters uh, snow, and uh, if I was really afraid that I was I cannot I cannot go. How can on you my ride bicycle. on this uh, with the, the snow? I was just pu pulling you my just cycle. Pull, you push it. Uh, yeah. I was just pushing my bicycle. Yeah. So I was pushing and I was going through the tunnel and I was really afraid that if tunnel will fall then I will be buried. Yes. Like, oh my god. So so scary. It's very you know? scary. And and how uh, long are these a, tunnels? Like it was uh, quite long time I think because minus 50 degree I was on the road. 
minus 50 degree centi Celsius. That's crazy. So, so it's That's really freezing. Crazy. That's it's, more than it's more than freezing means it's totally you know. So would sometimes you, did you put have layers? So many layers? No, no. Actually, whatever I had, I was just going because I I was feeling that when I was moving, I became so hot means mm. so heat is coming from inside. But when I was like 10, 15 kilometers after, I need to go to any house to warm up. You know, like every house there has a small. Uh, like chimney in their house, and that's how I warm up. And did you, know, you ever like knock continue. on uh, strangers' people doors yes, always, all the time? Always. What do you and say when when you come, when you show up to my door? I, I just to, like, I'm like I just oh. to, I was not speaking. I was just showing my board front of my board, and I was telling, uh, I'm coming from India on bicycle. You know, like Peaceful so life. that's somehow it is. It is give them a positive, like a, a sign. Yeah. That oh, this guy is a stranger, so let him come inside. Do you raise the awareness in every village and town you go to about HIV, or you stop doing that? No, I still doing, but it is uh, depend that uh, because some of country in Central Asia I couldn't do because if I'm speaking about HIV AIDS awareness, then they are thinking I'm doing I'm I'm talking about condom promotions, and um, when I was talking about Indian culture, they are thinking I'm promoting Hinduism. Oh my. So it was very, quite scary. To, How did to, you know that? Mm, the people approach you and tell you yes, this? Yes, yes. Okay. So I didn't know before. It is just came, uh, came across my road and it is came to my mind like when people ask me, oh, you are talking about Hindu, Hindu culture, yeah? I said, no, I'm not talking about Hinduism. I'm telling about the Indian culture. It is the Indian culture and we are all living together with Hindu, Muslim, Christians, Buddhism, Jainism, all different religion. So it is not I'm talking about not any single religion. I'm talking about the culture. What is the our 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 sentiment and what about the, our uh, different side of the culture? You know. Then they told uh, what wh what you are talking about uh, HIV AIDS. I say, yeah, HIV. How its preventions? How we can prevent HIV AIDS? Oh, you are talking about uh, about condom promotion. Maybe a big condom company was sponsoring you. I said, no, no, it's I. I didn't have any sponsor. Well, coming and to that, actually, who sponsors going. all of your trips? That's mm. you know, 16 years worth of traveling. Actually, mainly a, is your father that rich? Or? No, no. Actually, <laughs> mainly my support is all Indian Post and Mission. They are interaction interacting and they are conveying this message to Indian community. So Indian community and Indian some companies who are appreciating and giving some cash award and supporting me. Oh, that's very so nice. this is the way how I always get some funds and uh, different community inviting and and they are felicitating me and they are they are they are introducing me with the audience and people. So that oh, is the way good. how I I raise Because I'm thinking and, 16 years worth of travel that um, must. Do yeah, you, it yeah. is. It is it is quite long. Do you know how much it's going to cost, the whole thing? Uh, you, I you... think it is almost uh, total uh, like $200,000 uh, uh, almost cost. And, uh, and Travel, yeah. stay, food. Yeah, and... everything. Even uh, North Pole and South Pole, it only took $50,000. So Antarctica and Greenland. You went to North Pole? Uh, I went to the North Did Pole, Greenland. Did you meet Greenland. Santa there? Santa Claus? No, I, I was 24 days uh, That's very for cold. Greenland. And, uh, and, uh, Anybody now, live there? Now I'm going to North Pole because I wanted to continue my travel to all the way to Arctic Circle. And um, I think it is quite a uh, quite, um, uh, long journey and a uh, lot of money also. So I, I think I'm conveying this message to different community and companies. So if they they think it is a good promotions for them they could come forward and they can sponsor me and we can i can do some publicities tell me wh about your bike a little bit yeah this is the bike which is uh, you could see this this is my uh, eighth bike eighth, so eighth bike so three, this is three bicycle got stolen oh my gosh where, where did it is they get bulgaria stolen? poland and germany oh so it's all um, in europe yeah 
and three by would seven. Would you leave them outside so people would just take them, or would no? Actually, I was locking locked. Sometimes they cut locked, and they took. Uh, and so it was really quite uh, quite um, strange. Uh, then uh, three bicycle, I send it back to my museum. I have museum? A, you have a museum? I have a small museum, so where I'm. Where is that? Uh, in back to home. Back in home. Uh, so you so. made a made a new museum. What do you have? What do you keep in your museum? The bikes and what else? Yeah, actually, I when I meet different like chief minister, prime minister, president, during my Take travel. Uh, so during my travel, I was received by almost six king, uh, thirty eight president, and seventy two oh. prime ministers. Wow. Yeah. So they are appreciating. Sometimes they are. Uh, they Did are, you meet with any officials in Egypt when you oh, were there? Oh yes, I, I, I think uh, I couldn't meet uh, in that time uh, the Never. prime minister. Okay. Uh, I think who is uh, the prime minister in that time? Who is a? Uh, I think. Uh, Assam Sharaf. Uh, I, I think he's he's a professor. I think he was a professor in that time. Oh, at that time, there was uh, so many changes. Okay. So then, uh, then the I think I couldn't meet him, but I met others officials. Who are, how uh, do you how do you approach these uh, governments and the people, government officials and the people? Uh, from Embassy you, of India. Oh, so the embassy that yeah. dispatches you yes. to. Okay. Yes, Embassy of India is in, uh, uh, sending a notes to Foreign Ministry okay. that Suman Devnath is traveling till 2020. This is 16 years long journey. If so, you would like to give a courtesy call, so then he will be happy to keep a good memory. That's right. So nice. that's the how different president and prime minister is giving a courtesy call and, and appreciating and encouraging this trip. trip. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, tell me what's the most uh, funny situation that happened? And oh, yes. A lot of funny situations happen, uh, like uh, sometimes um, funny in the sense that um, when I was in uh, France, as for example, then uh, French people have funny things is different little bit sarcastic or you know like a uh, strange way so I was in Bordeaux and uh, one friend he invited me to his home so I was waiting uh, what uh, why uh, this uh, people are means uh, so late because they wanted to welcome me in the room uh, in the home so I, I was waiting outside of the door and I was waiting le really quite long time, like five, five, ten minutes. I was thinking that this guy had some problem or something, whatever. So I was really quite stranger and, uh, and I, they told that wait because uh, we, we will come. And then suddenly that uh, the door was open and I only can see that three S is oh my God. in front of me and I was really surprised that oh, what is this then I I saw my friend was telling this one is the girl's one you know like so they're just a strange you know it is like a way of funny things funny things it seems to me that yeah. this is the way how people the make French uh, yeah. way of sarcastic way can make the funny were you funny shocked ones. when you get when you got out and you didn't find your bike three times like where yeah you... it was it was shocked in uh so you had to buy it. shocked i would like to say that when i was got stolen my bicycle and in do Poland. you keep do you keep the 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 note on it and it's still, they still steal it anyways yeah, <laughs> yes yes so i i i locked it with the uh, with the uh, with the grill and morning when I came and I saw that my bicycle is not there. So I was really shocked that how it's happened, that how, why people, how people that, uh, uh, that break the lock and take your bicycle. I was really very shocked and it is, it is shocked, but it was not so much shocked that what is happening, I don't know. And I was shocked because without bicycle, I cannot continue my journey. Exactly. And then when I came to uh, uh, Frankfurt, then I need to go to take some money inside the bank and I locked it outside and that time somebody took uh, my bicycle. And I, I came out from the bank and I, my time. bicycle is not there. So I was really so shocked and I was thinking, oh my God, that's how it is possible that how people can take the bicycle like this. 
Yeah. And it was really so surprised. Did me. you ever approach any of those big bike companies uh, to sponsor uh, not, you? Uh, not really, but I think I think, uh, should. I, think I should uh, do it now. I think you should and, do it now, especially uh, you're in America. There's a lot of uh, uh, bike companies. Bike companies. So I, think, I think you uh, should. You know, your story uh, is, uh, uh, is very inspiring. Uh, let's continue uh, our questions right after the break. Uh, we'll see you after the break. Welcome back to American Pulse. Uh, again, uh, happy to have uh, Mr. Suman uh, Dipnath uh, in American Pulse show. And uh, your story, as I mentioned right before uh, we get out to the break, is very inspiring. So I want you to talk about what is it to have a goal and a target to the youth? I mean, a lot of young people now, they come out and they don't have no goal, no target. They don't know what to do. They don't know even if they want to have a target, they don't know how to act on it and execute a plan to get to what they want to do. So I want you to talk to the people. Tell me, how do you feel about this? Uh, is this something that you've, you've felt in many parts of the world, or this is something that I feel more mostly in Egypt now? I think, you know, like uh, most of the people losing their faith. And I think faith is a, like a wings, which to fulfill their dream. And, they lose uh, their faith in themselves or yeah, in God they, or in what? They lose what? their fa fa faith on themselves. And themselves. That they so they don't, do. believe, they don't believe in themselves. They, they are losing their belief. Yes. So I think uh, they are really, really good. I think uh, they are trying to, but sometimes, you know, like obstacles and their family matter or different difficulties. Peer pressures, yeah. friends, so this, These that. kind of things, they're exhausting them. Mm -hmm. and making them tired so they don't know how to overcome so that is the reason maybe they are losing their faith mm -hmm. so obstacles which is coming surrounding of them and they cannot step one single step and they are feeling that they are losing their faith to go forward and that is really very puzzled and they are feeling that how they can overcome they don't know so that's what i really felt n felt during my travel but uh, but i think a lot of youth in this world i would like to say that they're really thinking positive and optimistic way which they are finding their way to f make something new and I really, uh, I really uh, can see that things, maybe Denmark, Sweden, Norway, even Germany, people don't, they have problems also, but they think that problems should come. It is like a, an ECG, that if the curve is ups and down, that is means life. Yeah. If it is straight, that there is it's no life. Dead. Mm. So that's, you know, like they think oh, that's a good that, analogy. that is that's the way like how, how they can self-motivating themselves. And, uh, and uh, they are thinking that this is our planet. We should make it more better. And uh, each and every individual can make a change. And that little way how we can go forward and make a better world. So I think I really still uh, hope that a lot of youth, a lot of young generation thinking positive and who are not thinking positive, maybe we should encourage and appreciate them and give some more space and maybe try to help them to overcome their difficulties and not to lose their faith that this faith is their wings. Maybe tomorrow they could make it better. It's amazing. Yeah. What do you think traveling? I can I can still get my mind to wrap around the fact that you traveled or you're traveling 191 <laughs> countries. I think you, you experience wise. How old are you now? I'm 35. So I think after you're done with 2020, 191 uh, countries. I think you, your age is going to be 170 years old because you experience wise because yeah. you've seen you've seen everything you've seen the good and bad the hot and cold uh the 
the terrorism and what do you think having this experience don't you think it's about time for the world to understand that we should all live in peace try to help each other out rather than kill each other try to take advantage of this and that yeah i think that is you know like i i'm i'm not very politically involved so maybe if i wanted to say something it is politically incorrect but what I would like to suggest... I don't want you that, to be politically mm, correct. I want you no. to be truthful. I, I want you to uh -huh. say what, what you feel in your heart. But what is what I'm feeling in my heart, then maybe for some people, selfishness can lose for some people. And that is, the, that is when people lose, then it is, it is very hurting them. So maybe so when they nowadays, defeat, you mean selfish people when they defeat other people? Yes, it's and very it is bad. also it is also the way that how you give you will come back. So Karma. something it is the actions and result. It is the actions. Each and every actions has equal and opposite reactions. So if you will see this world, somehow that when some people were created, then if some people got some arms then that arms can use and it is the way of problem if we only think of peace in this world then there is no war how it can work and but people maybe not thinking of peace people thinking of war which can make the war isn't it so i i think that is the most important things in this world one side we we should we should think positive and optimistic way and second, we should motivate and encourage new generations and new newcomers that war is not the world could solve the problem. War cannot make benefit for the society. War only can do destructions and annihilations. War cannot give a new generations. And that's only the things which war cannot make but peace can and that should our message and we should pull each other because we should not we should not push each other Actually, and that is the way how we can make a better world i would like so, this is amazing i want you to focus uh, to to end it on that note peace and pulling each other right yeah and pulling each other means just to help little each other you know and that is the space how we can create within our mind and the persons where we help so that is the that is the way how we can make little different things or little little space for others to think that peace only is the solutions for this world uh, Soman, I, I am so happy to have you. It's amazing. Your story is lovely. I think you have a wonderful story to tell your children when you're married and have kids. And, and uh, it's amazing. It's something that you should be very proud of. Uh, you're trying to help for a good cause. And, uh, and I'll let you finish this. I would like to thank you. And uh, first of all, I would like to say that I maybe don't want to have the children how you wish to believe okay. i wanted to have an orphanage oh, that's where really i can nice. make maybe 20 30 40 50 or 100 children oh those are your can. children too so so this is the way how i can make a better future for the world so i will be always come forward so you're planning to do another different uh, yeah i think way of giving to i the think world. we are like a tree we start with one stream and then branches comes even tree doesn't know how many branches tree has but those branches is for the actions of the trees yes so we born with one thoughts one belief but day by day when we spread our branches different missions is create yes and i believe that maybe this 16 years journey after i have a next plan to build a global village in back to 2020 to 2025 when I will go back to India and that global village we will have orphanage, old age home, bigger rehabilitation center, self-help group 
and different creative ideas we can means to involve with people and give them some space and let them believe they are all are each and every person is unique and That's they amazing. have something which they can positively contribute the world That's so amazing. i think my duty maybe if one or two persons i can involve myself i will think that i'm the fortunate being in this world who born and some good wish i will think for future very nice thank you very much for being on the show and uh, hopefully to see you again uh, if you're ever back in new york and then uh, maybe i'll come and visit your indian village please, please. In, i would love to in, in 2020 to. Yeah. you never know we come with the show we'll take the Definitely. We'll have another show Definitely. in your Indian village. Definitely. Please. That great. Please. Thank you very much, uh, Mike. Uh, thank you. Uh, and uh, we really have enjoyed uh, uh, the conversation with uh, uh, this great man who is doing something for a great reason for the world. And I hope to see you soon in American Pulse. Good night. نشيل بلدنا على كتفنا مش هنسيبها ومش هنضيعها ومش هنخلي حد يقدر يضيعها Me